All right, we're gonna start another project today. All right, let's see if we can shoot a video here between rain showers. Got another finished project. Uh, first one going out of 2021. This is a 2020 Ram ProMaster 2500 159. Uh, it is, uh, believe it or not, it's New Year's Day. So, Happy New Year's, everybody. So with, uh, with this one here, uh, as you can see, it's got a nice awning on it. Uh, it also has a rooftop air conditioner. It's a 13.5 Dometic. It also has uh, 3,000, no, sorry. Uh, it has 630 watts of solar. It has a uh, fantastic fan. It also has 22 gallons of fresh water. No water here. So as we do a little walk around here to the outside, you'll see it's it's a nice clean setup. We're down here at a, uh, a nice little campground we have access to uh, shooting this video today. It's about three miles from our new shop. That video is coming soon. So we have two panels up there. So with what she has here, that's, that's plenty. Here we'll give you a nice little walk around here before it, uh, before it starts raining on us again. So we do have the, the drain here. It's on the, the driver's side, curb side along with a uh, locking water fill. It's just a gravity fill since she doesn't have a shower or water heater or anything like that. So, nice little gravity fill, nothing fancy. And then your 13-gallon uh, gray water dump. The valve is right there. Uh, we could have put that on the other side, but it would have had to have been so close to the exhaust that I didn't really feel comfortable doing that. Uh, the van is a little dirty uh, because of the road and stuff driving down here. But as we open up the back, you get your first look of the inside. Uh, this van is uh, spray foamed. There's her uh, water tank. She wanted a place to store uh, lawn chairs and whatever. So that box right here is uh, the back side of a litter box. Uh, she's got a couple cats that she's going to take with her on trips. So as you can see here, there's two uh, Battleborn batteries, two lithium 100 amp hour. There's also a Victron 3000 watt multi plus inverter, along with a 150 MPPT charge controller and a uh, 12 volt Victron uh, uh, DC to DC. And then of course we have the RV breaker box that has all of her AC breakers and her fuse. And then uh, she is a rather uh, a shorter lady. So she didn't want the cabinet doors that lifted up. But she was afraid she wouldn't be able to reach them. So uh, we had them swing out for her. Uh, she also wanted to be able to see what was behind her instead of uh, trying to use the mirror and only being able to see about half of uh, because of the mattress. So we did install a camera up here that you'll see up front that uh, was in place of the rearview mirror. So I'll take you up and show you that. So whenever you're sitting in the driver's seat, now you have an actual view of what's behind you. Because if you look the other way, you know, half the window is blocked with the mattress. Right, so let's go open the other side. Alright, so as you can see here, 
Uh, we also added an outside light that is on a dimmer. Uh, you know, sometimes you're sitting out here, you don't want that real bright, obnoxious light, but you want to be able to see as well. So we added a, a LED light strip right underneath the edge of the awning all the way down through here. And as you can see in here, we have a 12 volt trucker fridge. It's a nice little fridge freezer combo. It's not huge, but uh, she's not going to be living in here full time. This is for weekend trips. Uh, it's vented through the top here, but in this back corner, we also added a uh, vent and added a secondary fan. Uh, she didn't want to be able to or have to reach up for a microwave, so she wanted her microwave down low. And we, we've got a nice uh, pots and pan drawer here, which makes it work out real nice. And then we also added under cabinet lighting, toe kick lighting. That is also on a dimmer. We added under cabinet lighting on both sides that is also on a dimmer so on this side here we have a touchscreen dimmer for the lights over the bed area we have this one right here is for the toe kick that way you know whenever she's uh, needs to get up in the middle of the night to use the restroom whatever she can uh, turn that on so she doesn't have to flood the whole uh, whole area with light and uh, you know just makes for a nice night light as well uh, she wanted a place for her uh, CPAP so we added a little shelf here with a 120 and a uh, 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter plug depending on what she has to uh, power her CPAP with and then with nice big storage area right here above the seat Another small one here by the door. Uh, we did relocate the uh, factory dome light. Yeah, I timed it just right. Uh, we cut down the the foam block that was there so it wasn't really sticking out in the way. And we uh, carpeted that <clears throat> to match the uh, the step down here. And that is a swivel seat. And like I said, to help her out, you know, when you turn them seats around, you have a, a huge uh, step there in order to get up in the seat. So we made this little box here. It could also double to set your purse on or whatever. Or if you wanted to, you could flip this over and put stuff in it for travel. You know, you have something you want to set outside, little decorations. You know, you don't have any place to put it. Well, you can set it in that box. But when the seat turns around, now that acts as a footstool. So let me spin the seat around there real quick. So now when the seat's spun around there, you actually have a nice footstool. And it's not in the way uh, whenever it's not needed getting in and out of the doorway. So here to the kitchen area. We have a table extension that you can also use whenever the, the chair is spun around. Nice, nice deep sink with uh, bronze accents, the brush bronze, the faucets all, all brush bronze as well. So, uh, we also added on this side here for additional power. And that's a dual USB and a three plug, three plug setup. Now, I know some of you are gonna freak out because it's right next to the sink. That is run through a GFI. So there's no issue with that. And then she has all kinds of uh, 
under sink storage. All the doors are on uh, magnetic latches. And then with the uh, sink insert in here, sorry about that, it gives you a little bit more counter space if needed. We also have the counter space on this side. Like I said all the drawers are on uh, on 70 pound magnets on the back, so they're they're just right for uh, travel. And then over here we have, you know, just your standard 120 plugs. There will be a TV mounted here. And then we also installed a uh, Mobasto gasoline heater that's tapped into the fuel tank. So right now the refrigerator is running. I can hear the compressor on right now with all the lights and everything. So we're pulling 100 183 amps, 183 watts, sorry, with a one lot AC load. So right now we're fully charged. And then, you know, like I said, the, there's the controller for the Obasto heater and it vents, it blows out down here under the toe kick. Just trying to keep everything out of the way. And with the step here, we covered up the, the dreaded soft spot. And now she sent us the mattress that she chose. Uh, that is a 12 inch memory foam. So I'm not sure she realized how tall that was going to be. But we also have a uh, slide out table. And then she has a, uh, like I said, her litter box so the cat can get in and out of there easily. And you still have access to a little bit of. Uh, storage from the front on this side. Uh, underneath of this seat is all storage. Underneath of this seat we did a uh, composting toilet. Alright, so she wanted a, a composting toilet so we made her a nice little composting toilet there with a urine divider and then if she needs to take the bucket out you know, she can lift this out and remove her bucket and there's still a little bit of storage around the outside of it for her uh, for her composting material you know whatever it is if she decides to use sawdust or peat moss or, or whatever All right, so we also have, you know, plenty of storage over the bed area. There's dual cabinets all the way down through here. All with magnets. Because she didn't want the uh, slam latches or anything. She wanted the brush bronze. So, I think she'll be, uh, be happy with this once everything's done. Once she gets here and picks it up. If I can remember, I'll try to take a little video on her. She sees it for the first time. We also installed a track all the way across here. She has made her own uh, her own curtain. So I haven't seen it. So once she gets it uh, installed on there, maybe she'll send me a picture. I can attach it in the video. All right, so with all that being said, this is uh, our first project out the door of 2021. We've got two more that's going to be done in the next uh, three weeks, three to four weeks. And 
we've got a new shop that we just moved into that needs to be finished. So there'll be some more projects coming. And, uh, and hopefully uh, 2021 will be a uh, good year for us. I said, I know January is going to be super busy. We're starting to book uh, some more into March. We got some expediter builds coming out. Uh, those of you that uh, follow on my Instagram, Facebook, whatever, uh, seen my post uh, about three weeks ago where I was working on the new shop and had a little spill on a ladder, ended up breaking a couple of ribs nose uh busted lip up pretty good but still had to work through it you know, got to keep my keep my customers going you know, keep the builds going out where uh we do have a couple more employees now so that's that's helping get them up to speed on all this so if uh you're interested in getting one of these custom vans built Feel free to email us at info at redscustomdesign.com. You can follow us on Instagram, Facebook, uh, visit our website, all under Red's Custom Design. And we'll try to fit as many of you in as we possibly can without, uh, you know, killing ourselves. Even though, you know, I work way more hours than I need to or should but I enjoy this I enjoy the chaos I enjoy the creativity give you a little pan around here this part but it's uh sometimes it's a little overwhelming but we'll see what we can get done and we'll see what uh, 2021 brings. I do. I know we do have a couple coming in that has uh, full 12 volt air conditioners. The cruising comfort we're installing there, a uh, thousand watts of solar. We've got one coming in that's a riff rack on the top with a deck. Um, we've got an ambulance that we're going to be converting. And I just had someone the other day send me an email about converting a uh, cargo trailer. We're still looking for that uh, first big bus build. So if, you're, if you've got a school bus or looking to buy a school bus or looking to build another bus or whatever, we're, uh, we're still working on that. I want to I get into that. I've always, uh, always liked the school bus conversions. Maybe one of these days we'll, we'll get one going, even if it's a short bus. You know, I've got a lot of different things that I want to try and uh, incorporate into a bus. So if you're willing to willing to do a little work or let us do a little work on it, you know, give us a holler, shoot us an email. And if you're an artist, uh, preferably a graffiti artist and you're looking to have some work done on a van or bus or box truck or whatever, hit us up. I've got a wall that I want uh, some graffiti on inside the new shop. It's 12 foot tall, 45 feet long. So white blank canvas right now. I'm just looking for someone to do a graffiti style art on it. That way it can be a backdrop to all of our videos. So. I guess that's everything for now. So I appreciate everyone that follows, that watches the videos. Uh, if you could, please hit that subscribe button. We're still, you know, 70% of the people that, that watch our videos don't subscribe. So if you could hit that button, we'd really appreciate it. It kind of helps us out on some of the behind the scenes stuff. All right, I've been rambling for almost 20 minutes. So, all right, thanks for following us. Thanks for watching. Hope you get enjoyed what we do here. Thank you. Bye.